Okay, good morning, everybody. Today, my name is James Moore, and today I'm going to teach you all how to properly iron a button shirt. So before you iron, you need the obvious ingredients. I mean, ingredients, the obvious um, objects. This is the iron. I bought it from Walmart. Um, and then this is the starch. The starch helps you like, get rid of creases quicker. And you don't need starch, but I like starch. It makes my life easier. And then the hanger, obviously, at the end, when you're done ironing, you put it in this hanger. So the first step in ironing a shirt properly, you want to get the collar. The collar is honestly pretty easy. You just flatten it up. And then you just flatten it, go across. And what I'm pressing is um, it helps like with the steam to help it like iron quicker. Um, and once again, you don't have to use it, but it's just if you want to. Um, yeah. When I'm done with the collar, I just like align it in the way that I want it to align. And notice how like I button everything. You don't have to button, but it's easier if you button. And buttoning the shirt, you just like it helps you align with the seam. <laughs> it helps you <laughs> with the seam of the shirt. So the next step after you button and iron the collar, you want to iron the body, which is like the main part of the shirt. Yeah. And I have like OCD, so it takes me a while. I'm fascinated. I've never done that. So. <laughs> so once you've had it aligned, you get your starch and you just spray. Sorry. And then you just iron. And you want to like hold it on the shirt as long as possible. But not long enough to burn it. Just like, you know, long enough to get the starch residue out. <laughs> yeah, and then another thing that I noticed sometimes, like these kind of shirts, they have like these extra like crease seams at the bottom, and they bother me. So you want to try to get like the bottom as well, so there's no creases. Gonna do it again, like, like. You can't forget about the pockets. Yeah. So right now, like just to review, I'm just aligning the seams with each other to make it easier to iron and get rid of these creases. smooth it out with your hand to make it even easier to iron it. Grab your starch again, and grab your iron again, and we iron. <laughs> Can't leave any crease just lingering around. They bother me. It's 
So when you're done with the body of the shirt, you move on to the sleeves. The sleeves of the shirt. And you do the same thing. You align the seam of the shirt and you just put it down and flatten it. And usually, I try not to use like a lot of starch on the arms because it looks like sweat. And that's not a good thing. Especially if I want that range of this. <laughs> and the sleeves usually don't take that long. They're only they're smaller than the body, so it should take a few seconds. And then you go to the other um, sleeve and do the same thing. Thank you.